So far it's looking good for Roma and for The Favorite, two films that got 10 nominations each, uh, making them both strong contenders uh, this year. Um, they surpassed A Star is Born, they surpassed Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Black Klansman, uh, a bunch of other films that have been considered uh, front runners this year. Uh, Green Book is still in the running, I think. Bohemian Rhapsody is still in the running. Pretty interesting Best Picture list, uh, Black Panther, the first superhero film to be nominated for Best Picture, and also uh, Spike Lee getting his first Best Directing nomination for Black Klansman, so pretty interesting year. Crazy Rich Asians, that got no nominations whatsoever. That was a movie that was uh, got a lot of critical acclaim, uh, did very well at the box office. I think people felt that that film had done for Asian Americans what Black Panther had been doing for African Americans. I was also surprised that Bradley Cooper did not get a directing nomination. Uh, he did a great job with A Star is Born. He got a lot of critical acclaim for that. First time directing effort. He did get named as uh, best uh, in the best actor category, of course, but not for best directing. I think his, uh, his directing slot went to Jorgen Lanthimos, the Greek director who did uh, The Favorite. To me, the two biggest surprises are the actresses from Roma. Uh, the first one, Yalitza Aparicio, uh, a non-professional actress showing up in the Best uh, Actress category. And then in the Best Supporting Actress category, Marina de Tavira, who uh, is uh, well known in, to uh, Spanish language speakers, not so much to Americans. Uh, I think those two uh, nominations pushed uh, Roma over the edge a little bit, but I was very surprised to see them both in those categories. I'm Ray for Guzman for Newsday.